we opened in September of 2011 and it was during a pretty slow time for the economy and so we were one of the few people around opening businesses and we are about to turn five this year and that's a big milestone for us um, and I think our success is sort of a combination of luck, hard work, and then help from family, friends, and customers. And so we opened a grocery and cafe and bakery with the goal to source as much as we could from local farmers and small producers. And when we opened, we started out with about 20 different farms, and now we have over 150. And probably, you know, some people we order from now and some people we don't. Um, so we're actively ordering from about 100 farmers at any given time. It's really hard to do local and it takes a lot of effort to coordinate and our menu, uh, we're probably always out of something at any point because of the fluctuations. Um, but it's very fulfilling, like we know all of our farmers personally, whenever there's a, if there's ever a quality issue, we just call the person who grew it themselves. Um, and we love knowing our farmers and I think our customers really love knowing their farmers and they love seeing us at the store whenever they come in because we basically live there. Since opening, um, both of us have also started uh, expanding our family and each of us has had two kids since we opened. When we opened, we knew that we wanted to do like local food and Mary knew that she wanted to um, do the baking. And so Mary was from New York and said that she wanted to like open on a place that people could ride their bikes and commute and grocery shop and I'm from the suburbs and I was like, nobody's ever going to do that. <laughs> are hearing that all the time, that they're like getting um, food on their, you know, groceries on their bikes and um, I mean we have plenty of car traffic as well, but um, we found an old building that um, was like previously condemned, was totally abandoned and um, we found out who the owner was that bought it. And we went to his store and we just kind of like lingered around. We didn't tell the other customers left. And we're like, we want to talk to you about your building. <laughs> and uh, he pulled up a chair and we told him our idea. And he said, okay, it'll take 14 weeks. And so that's kind of how we got started. And that's the luck part. <laughs> <laughs> so, and every year since then, you know, and when we, it took us like six months that, we, you know, we had a score consultant. We um, met with Scott. We did all this stuff. Um, it took us about six months to decide we were going to do it and about six months to actually open. And... When we opened, all we did was literally like open the door. We did like no advertising, and there, there happened to be like a group of ten on their bikes that came by, and there's just the bike pile because we didn't have bike rack or anything. And then everybody else knew that we were open and stuff. And we thought I was seven months pregnant. We thought we were going to run the whole store by ourselves um, <laughs> with our headphones on the weekend. We did for a few days. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a friend that was like, "Do you need help?" And he's been with us ever since. But um, so we updated the old building. And every year we've increased our square footage and expanded. And um, we're currently trying to do that some more. And we're currently doubling our square footage. And we started with just us and our husbands. And then we had just a handful of employees. And now we have about 36. 41 was actually our last Oh, 41 before. employees. <laughs> um, and a lot of them are part-time. And some of them are in high school. And so it's a big mix. And we do have some full-time. And now we finally have managers which is a big um, milestone for us because now we can actually go home for dinner and that was a big deal for us. We also won a grant last year from the USDA um, to, and with the goal to increase our purchases from farmers and get more local food out into the community. So that was a big deal for us. It's really neat to watch, um, you know, we usually, are we open at 7.30 in the morning but our bakers get there between like four and five, and um, we I usually get there around like nine-ish, and one morning, like my one-year-old woke us up at like three, so I went in like around the time the bakers, and I watched all the staff come in, it's like little, it's just, it's it's like really rewarding to see, like it, it was like a well-oiled machine, they come in, they start making the coffee, like they have everything, and everybody does their job, and I'm like, oh, all this happens when we're not here. So we're, we both work with our babies with us, and um, I just remember like it'd be me and one other staff member, like we weren't that busy, but then we get this huge line, and the baby would be crying. I'm like, what am I doing? I look up, and I like look for the most familiar face. I'm like, can you take the baby? And like, people would help us out with everything, or like, they'd be like, do you want me to um, wash dishes and stuff? And so people were always like, really helpful, and like, um, you know, a lot of the groups that we had worked with, like gardening for good and upstate forever, like they would use us for catering, and they would have events there, like the Native Plant Society meets at our, our um, place. And um, when we first opened, we had like 
local food potlucks and people were just to make anything with local food and bring it. And so we had lots of fun events. And we, we met at Upstate Forever, it's an environmental nonprofit. Both of us worked there and then we shared the same interests in local food. Um, and that's the story of us. And I think we're just a good team. We get along. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have like com compatible, like uh, differing, um, like how we what, we, what we can add to the business, I guess. And we have a good sense of humor. Yeah. And that usually <laughs> saves the day. <laughs>